hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the first time i'm joycelyn binry a content creator based in Douala, cameroon and in this video i'll share with you guys different ways in which we can increase breast milk production and enhance flow if you can remember i said in my get to know me video that was my first video on youtube i'll drop the link of that video in the description box below that i have two children a boy and a girl and all of and both of them were breastfed from zero to six months at least though the boy was the first who is the boy was breastfed exclusively from from zero to six months statistics show that 75 percent of women breastfeed their children from birth and they wish to breastfeed them continuously to six months but along the way most of them give up breastfeeding because maybe they don't produce enough milk that can feed the baby to to the baby's satisfaction so that the baby will not be cranky and crying all the time without wasting so much time let's dive into the video guys the first thing to do is to breastfeed as often as possible breastfeed as often as possible even when breast milk has not yet started flowing you keep on breastfeeding as the baby pulls as the baby suckles on on the breast there are hormones there are hormones in your body that are triggered to produce more milk to produce milk and that will help if you just keep saying that breast milk is not yet flowing you cannot be giving empty breast to the baby or stressing the baby no uh, there, are, there are hormones that are being stimulated in the process of the baby suckling on, on suckling onto the breast it helps breast milk to be produced and it helps it helps you to produce enough breast milk next and the, and the second point is that we should pump regularly pump between feeding that's using a breast pump i'll encourage all women who are expecting babies to invest in breast pumps Bre breast pumps are very useful and now they are even sold at very affordable prices i had you can either use the manual one or you use the electric one for my son i use the manual one and for my daughter that's my second child i use the electric pump that one is fast is faster and it, i don't think it has any side effects like serious side effects guys because it is something that i've used and i've not seen any negative effect of it on my from my body so i'll encourage all women who are breastfeeding to pump regularly pumped as as often as possible so that because when the more you pump the more you release milk the more milk will be produced in your mammary glands the more the mammary glands will produce milk you can pump and put them in in plastic bags or in milk storage bags or milk storage containers and keep them in the refrigerator so that while you're even sleeping and resting another person can help to feed the baby the next point which is the third point is that we should breastfeed on both sides breastfeed on both sides of your breast once you start breastfeeding the baby once the baby has fed up to a certain level on one side you also turn the baby on the next side to breastfeed to their satisfaction even while the baby is not suckling a lot even if the baby is already full on the other side you can turn to the other side just the fact that the baby's mouth is on the breast it helps breast milk production and it will increase you help to increase your flow the next point which is the fourth point <coughs> is that we should eat we can we should eat oatmeal yeah we should consume a lot of oatmeal oatmeal also enhances breast milk production i don't know how to explain this scientifically but i know when you when you consume oatmeal when you eat oatmeal that's you can make it to be like your breakfast or like your last the last thing of the day when you're going to bed you eat some oatmeal so that you can produce enough milk for the baby to suck in the night and very early in the morning you can take it as your breakfast it really helps to in the production of breast milk which is the fifth point is that we should drink a lot of warm milk that's dairy products they help in they help to stimulate our mammary glands to produce more milk to produce much milk breast milk yeah if you drink if you can drink uh, uh, warm milk 
in a day like three times though some of us might be scared saying that when we drink a lot of milk or when we eat a lot or when we eat this kind of things we are going to gain a lot of weight which is not healthy let me tell you something when you're breastfeeding your baby's health your your baby's wellness has to be a priority before yours a breastfeeding mother is supposed to eat as much as she can drink as much as she can to be able to feed her baby when you have stopped breastfeeding you can then turn to yourself and start doing all the vegetarian stuff and we move to the sixth point which is this point is something I learned from my mother I've never read it anywhere I learned from her that stash water from cassava the water that comes out of cassava also helps a lot in production of breast milk people who are even unable to produce breast milk once you drink it you see a difference and your breast is going to produce a lot of milk to get to uh, get this water from this stash water you need to grate your cassava you peel your cassava and grate it well and then you squeeze the water from it throw the chaps away and you drink the water it will help a lot in the production of breast milk the seventh point is that we should eat a lot of fruits we should eat a lot of fruits that contains water watery foods like pineapples oranges watermelon carrots though i know carrot is a vegetable it helps a lot in the production of breast milk because water the water alone that is coming from those fruits will help to will help you to produce more breast milk and also there are some nutrients in the food some in the fruit some vitamins in the fruit that will also help the baby in bowel movement that will help the baby help the baby not to have difficulty in 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 excreting the eighth point which is the simplest is to drink a lot of water drink a lot of water water is water is a little trick in the production production of breast milk when you're breastfeeding you need to be taking in a lot of water you drink as much as possible during the day even while you're breastfeeding you make sure you're drinking water as the baby is sucking you drink a lot of water when you when you hydrate yourself very well you oh, your mammary glands will also produce more breast milk the ninth point is that we should eat very well a breastfeeding mother is supposed to eat very well in large quantities eat starchy food starch helps a lot in the production of breast milk eat starchy food like anything that is made from cassava like gari like water fufu you can eat fufu corn you eat achu and yellow soup yellow soup helps a lot in the production of breast milk yeah there is another tricky one which is the tenth point that i also learned from my mother back in the village that uh, palm kennel palm kennel this palm kennel this uh, um, nuts that we get from from palm trees palm kennel they help a lot the ones that are already dry you crack the kennel and remove and and take out the the eatable part and if once you chew it the juice that comes out of it helps also in the production of breast milk if you can afford it if you can get it if it's available where you are you eat as much as possible i also think something like coconut you could supplement it with something like coconut because coconut is also of that nature you eat a lot of coconut even the juice that is coming from it if you can even grate the coconut and squeeze it and drink the milk that is coming from it it will also help you in the production of breast milk hope you guys have enjoyed all these 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 tips i've given i and i hope you're going to implement it and please if you have others don't forget to share in the comment section below please so that our videos can always be interactive interactive let's keep learning from each other thank you for watching please if you have not subscribed yet what are you still waiting for please go ahead and hit the subscribe button the red button down below and beside it make sure you hit your you turn on your notification bell and if you enjoy this video you you uh, click on the like button it is going to help me to know the kind of video you videos you people would like to watch from me thank you for watching see you guys in the next one